Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tech It Let's Play. Is it not nighttime? I feel like we should be able to sleep yet. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice way to start. Alright, so I hope you guys are having a great and tremendous day today. I know I am, and I'm glad to be back for another video. So, in the last episode, we were working on over in what's going to be our starter island for whatever on earth we come up with out here uh the grass guys is slowly but surely making it i'm pretty sure it's gone maybe four or five since last time so we will get there and mr cow still there still have a name for the cow um but i'd like to at some point nose still plugged so that's awful and probably really terrible recording quality i do apologize for that as always uh Cause you know I gotta sound good, right? A lot of, a lot of, the YouTube and life, man, is is due with sounding good. If I'm not sounding good, I feel like you guys aren't happy. But we're gonna do our best here, because you guys are have been super appreciative for every episode I put out of this, uh, in the channel in general. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, but let's see, what are we doing today? Well, if you look down. And I'm not talking about my tree taps right now. Uh, if you looked at my inventory, and I'm sure some of you probably saw that right off the bat. You're like, what the heck? Why does Duke have 11 golden apples in his inventory? Honestly, I feel like if you were to normally think that, you'd expect a little bit more than what I'm about to tell you. But basically, I ran out of food. And uh, it's all I have. <laughs> it's, it's what I have. I'm sorry. Uh, I would love to say that we're doing something special and, and really cool, but no, it's just sort of the realization that, hey, uh, where's my wrench? Okay. And second of all, I need, dudes, a straight up need. Oh, I didn't realize there was iron in there. That's cool. Uh, we are in absolute desperate need for some sort of food system we must do in the near future because we are not going to survive on golden apples as much as cool as it is okay uh and if we could get away where we have a steady supply of gold actually in this version right uh golden apples can be made using golden nuggets so they're really really cheap but i do need an apple intake or input and i do need some way to get gold constantly and then if that is the case we could consider golden apples all the time which are absolutely fantastic um i mean look how cheap that is also what can you do with the nuggets just yeah just just that okay um all right so let's go try to put this stuff in here because we're trying to move stuff over today uh at least a decent bit of everything so hopefully guys very very soon in the next coming episodes this will be all grass and it'll be wonderful uh, but right up here, we only have the three solar panels still, and I'd love to. See, we've got to mark this out. Okay, so we have we have this section. <clears throat> I am sorry. My sinuses are awful, so I might have to clear my throat. Might have to sneeze. I might have to blow my nose. But I'll try to keep a lot of that off camera for you guys because, well, I don't know why anyone would ever want to hear that. Uh, and oh, I left my uh my cables which we may need to make more of so I'm just gonna leave that for now but this entire area right here is going to be solar panels so that's gonna be absolutely phenomenal okay and then we come on in here and I think for the time being can we just run this just for just for the time being it's not gonna stay this way because um, we do lose power and can you get out right here? Okay, yeah, we're good. So you can still squeeze through there. That's important. I just want some renewal. Oh! Okay, what'd we lose? We lost our macerator. That's disappointing. It's fine, though. The generator will become another solar panel here very, very shortly. We can actually probably turn that right away. I think we have all the materials needed. And then we can turn this machine block to the macerator. Uh, no, just as easy. So that's that's nothing too much to worry about, actually. Uh, and these should be all filled up. And that's full. 
Let's, uh, let's throw those in there. Let's see what it does to the power. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh. Huh. We need three solar panels to completely erase any need for new power in the bat box, which is great. So, I believe that means we can overclock these very soon. Over, overclock. Overclock. There we go. I had it. It didn't have it highlighted. So we're gonna need coolant cells, uh, which is pretty easy. But these are very simple recipes. We should be able to make a lot of these. Also, with the copper cables inside here, I might just replace everything with glass fiber cables because if we have it available to us, we might as well take advantage of that. Uh, what? Oh, that's gonna be an issue. Also with the lighting. But why is there a sign here? Hey, check the tree. Wink. Okay. The tree. I'm going to assume it means that thing. Because it is a tree. And even though it's man-made, the tree would only signify this, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So what do we got? What's up with this tree here? I don't see anything. I don't see anything special about it. Is this not the tree? No, there's... Did they do something up here? I don't know. I did not place that sign, though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't... Oh. Oh, here we go. Let's see what that says. Ever watch Shrek? Yes, I have. I, I do love Shrek. And we built the Shrek hut, which... Oh, my God. Are we, get, are we going on a treasure hunt, guys? No way. I really hope this is the case. Let's go check the Shrek, the Shrek hut real quick. Might have to put a, a post. Uh, I mean, I, uh, God, I can't speak. Uh, you know, we're going to have to hold up on what we're doing else right now. Pompeii boys. Okay. Still love this build. I never really finished the inside, but it looks good on the outside. Okay. Back to these signs. Pompeii boys. So this is our Pompeii area, right? That makes sense. We've got this huge thing. Sort of cleared out right now. We're going to turn into Pompeii. We've got a little start. Ooh, it's probably over here. It's probably over here. If I had to guess. Okay. Hmm. Are we looking for another sign? Or what? Do you guys understand what the sign means? Pompeii boys. I assume boys was just added on for the heck of it. But I don't see anything here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe. Okay, I really hope it's not on here somewhere because this thing's massive. But then again, the sign's a nice tan color, so you can probably see it from a while away. Also, these... I think the golden apples give really good saturation, so we don't have to worry about food too much. We're already down to 8, though. I thought we made 11. Must have glitched out or something. I don't know. Let's make our way up to the top here, though, guys. I think this might lead us to somewhere. Alright, what do we got? This looks pretty standard. Nothing seems to be changed. There's a sign! The ban on EE2, Equivalent Exchange 2, will be lifted when I say Meme 6. Meme 6, that's my dude. Wait a second. Will be lifted when I say. Is this another clue? Meme 6. There's nothing left of anything his, except for where his generators were. Right? Where his nuclear generators were? I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all that's left. We've pretty much done away with everything. And then he gave me that package, the supply drop, which was incredible. The ban on Equivalent Exchange 2 will be lifted when I say. Okay. Maybe. Alright, let's think about it, guys. So, this used to be a single player series. And then Meme joined, right? And if you go on the videos where Meme is, by the way, uh, we have a whole bunch of people who are all like, oh, this isn't single player anymore. Just wait, guys. If you've watched one of those and are watching this, you're, 
realizing it is back to the single player series, so that is good. Um, in its own way, it was great having a meme along with me, but there's some parts of single player that are nice, plus the fact that it's single player in the title of these videos, and people, I don't know, they kind of got on me about that, which was kind of strange, but I guess I totally understand where they're coming from, because it wasn't single player. Okay, maybe we should go check out what's left over here. That's the only thing I can think of at this point. So, back to what we're thinking about. So, equivalent exchange 2, we banned it, because when he played with me, we made those energy condensers, and... I got real busy with life and wasn't able to play for a few days while he was and he just kept like pumping these things out and next thing you know we had about a billion energy collectors filled with dark matter and red matter so we kind of just destroyed the game. Uh, there was really no reason to play any longer so we banned it because there's a lot more to this mod pack that we didn't touch on. But you're basically cheating your way through it. Hey, there's glass right here. Like, you're cheating your way through it, right? If, if, if you have access to whatever you want. I mean, these things... Between the energy collectors and... Um, what's that machine? Not the alchemical chest. Okay, it's got to be at equivalent exchange 2. That's not... Let's just Let's just do this real quick. We'll just find it. Okay. Oh. It's got to be in here, right? Energy condenser. Oh. I was talking about the energy collectors. What is what we had so many of that were filled. Wait a second. These collect energy for the condensers. I really need to know how to play Minecraft, apparently. I got a, I got a comment on a video recently that said, You need to learn more about Minecraft. Which, wow. When you've been playing the game since Alpha. <laughs> Uh, it's fine, but in all reality, I mean, I really don't know everything, so I do appreciate when you guys help me out. It's actually really nice to know that I have any support, so that's, you know, keep it up. Um, but right, we had a bunch of these that were filled with red matter blocks, and you could turn it into everything. So we outlawed it, and the nuke went off. The hundreds of nukes went off, and this hole happened, and my house is gone, and... His house was gone and, and everything. But it, now he's saying equivalent exchange 2 is going to be brought back when he says so. Only when he says so. But regardless, guys. He sounds like he wants to bring it back. But I don't know if he's going to be playing with me. He didn't really leave me anything on that aspect of things, right? Like, it, it pretty much just said... The ban will be lifted, but I don't know anything outside of that. You guys are going to have to help me out. Go in the comments below and tell me what you think this all means, because honestly, I feel like this could mean just about anything for the channel in the series. Because maybe we'll have to open this back up to multiplayer, which you guys probably know best. You guys can figure that out for me, whether that's a good idea or not. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's a lot of ways we can take this. I don't know which way is best. I do not know which way is best. And is getting equivalent exchange back a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. We definitely have to look more into that, but I'm excited about that, actually. Really am excited to consider it. Uh, and when we have equivalent exchange back, that'll allow us a few things. And I know there were people talking. And they were like, Duke, listen, equivalent exchange is a core mod in this pack. How, like, it doesn't make any sense for you guys to get rid of it. So I totally understand that. And maybe they were right. And maybe we should bring it back. I don't know. Looks I'll either have to talk to Meme about that. Or we'll just have to wait for more signs to show up. Because... I didn't even know he wanted anything to do with this anymore. So maybe I just have to keep it on the down low, guys. We're going to act like we saw those, but we're not going to think too far into it because I really don't know. 
then again, isn't that when you're supposed to think too far into things? I don't know. I don't have a clue. I'm just spewing words out at this moment. Um, do we have any flint? Yes, we do. Perfect. Um, <laughs> I don't know, guys. But all I know is we could have an equivalent exchange back in the near future. And would you guys be okay with that? I don't know. A lot of that is relatable to you, the viewer. So let me know what you think. And I'm stumbling over my words a little bit now. So I'm just going to go ahead, break it off. We're going to come back when we've done a little bit more work. And I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so we've been doing a little bit of work. I've been making up some solar panels and stuff like this. Absolutely phenomenal how easy these are to make. Did I say that? Do I mean that? Yeah, I mean that. Honestly, they are easy to make. Now, if you look at the recipe, you might be like, Duke, we need glass here, right? So, that's not easy by any means. But in all reality, it is because coal dust, you just pop coal in there. Sand, you just pop in. That's six slots right away. Generators are pretty darn easy as well, especially when you have a lot of that already made. And electronic circuits, guys, I mean, this is among some of the easiest stuff we're going to be making uh, in this series. So, that's that's fun. And we have three more we can go on add. And let me go grab just a little bit more. I've been smelting, smelting some stuff up because we have it available to us. We might as well take advantage of our pretty much free energy. That's why I love solar panels so much, guys. It's, it's legitimately free. Now, you can only get it, right, during the day. But we just go to bed every night, so it doesn't really affect anything too much. And look at that. We have quite a few of them down there. That's what, nine? I mean, come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to be all filled up. It's going to be absolutely great. And I've had like three or four machines running at one time, and it hasn't interrupted anything. Also, I'm realizing the macerator still has coal dust in it. Let's just pop those out real quick. Um, I think we might make an overclocker upgrade because it's just not necessary. We've got... Three electric furnaces, we've got an extractor and a macerator all going, and the bat box is still doing perfect. Actually, <laughs> I'm so dumb. Four of them aren't running. But take my word for it, guys. They they run just fine, even without it. But I do want to try an overclocker upgrade, which shouldn't be too difficult either. Let's go see if we can make one right away. Also, I think I'm going to leave that sign up. Um, at least until we get another sign from Meme 6 because I don't know what else to do with it and maybe we should just leave it so that's, that's fine it's fine it's all good we can leave it not the end of the world alright so we've got some electric circuits right there and then we're gonna need a couple more copper cables but our coolant cells are what is the most important at the time so let's grab just a little bit of those I'm pretty sure you don't need a water bucket, right? I don't think this is necessary. I could be wrong, but I am almost 100% confident that if you just come on over to a body of water and right-click, that will do all you need it to do. Yeah. Yeah, this is working. Okay. Well, that's easy. It's a lot easier than just going and getting ourselves a bucket. Like, come on. doesn't make any sense. Why would we do that? Um... Also, these apples are really running out, so that's, again, something we really need to focus on, and hopefully we'll get that soon enough. Uh, let's sleep real quick so we can make sure our solar panels are still working at maximum e efficiency, um, which, again, downside of having solar panels is not working at night, but considering the amount of days we sleep... It shouldn't ever be a problem. It should just be continuous new energy, and that is absolutely incredible. Also, I really want to change this because I hate how kind of risky it feels to run all the way out here. All right, so there goes our extractor, and I'm realizing we're going to have to pop each and every one of these out, uh, which I will do. I'll just sit here, sort of watch it for a little while, just put a video on or something, and I'll be back with you guys later. All righty, guys, so... Let's let everything load back in around us. I believe, yeah, things are going to need to load back in. Because I just had to log in, uh, oh, I should say re-log in, just for a quick second there. Because I had to load up fraps because, you know, 
it's time to do some recording a bit. So I'm over here in the desert. Um, also, I really hope you guys are hearing this. I should really probably check after this clip whether or not my voice is being recorded. Because here's the thing, guys. Um, for those who don't know, I have Apple earbuds, okay, that are hooked up to my... Um, God, what is that thing called? The, the, the box that has my XLR input uh, from my microphone. So, I... God. The, the, f it's, it's, um, hmm. So anytime you want to know absolutely nothing about what I'm doing, uh, just ask me because obviously I have no clue about anything I ever do. Uh, somebody knows. Somebody in the comments has to have a clue what this thing is, uh, what it's, what it's actually called. But anyways, uh, yeah, my Apple earphones go out every couple months. Oh, jeez. Every couple months I have to get a new one. A, a new set because they die which I guess in reality I should just understand because they're Apple earbuds that you get when you buy an iPhone so I don't think they're expected to be you know top of the line and I only use them because they're cheap and easy so I don't have to worry about a whole lot uh, but we've run out of food so that's wonderful we have this one pork chop which I'm gonna smelt up um, yeah like I was saying, I really hope you guys can hear me, uh, and I won't know until after I'm done recording, because I can't hear myself. Normally, I can hear myself, uh, but now that my headphones are dying, I can't at the moment, so that's, that's really a lot of fun. So, to make an overclock upgrade, we go just like that, and then one, two, three. That gives us an overclock upgrade, which are absolutely incredible. Let's go see. I believe just one will show you... The improvement we may add up to four or so on these machines uh, but just for the time being I'll show you what one does now if you've been following the series since the beginning you already know that or hey if you know you know what tech it is uh, you should also have a clue um, but alright let's say alright we'll take those out of the electric furnace so there is the normal speed there that's fine but if we take this and then we throw this overclocker upgrade in oh two three Four, five, six, seven, and it's just one, two, three. It's, it's like <laughs> I'm counting faster, which obviously is throwing everything off. Uh, but for the amount of ticks, guys, I mean, we're already at three here. This one's gonna go flying past the one that's not overclocked. So these overclocker upgrades, guys, pretty easy to make because for the coolant cells, one cell. I mean, you only need four tin. Uh, for 16 empty cells and you just go over to a body of water and fill them up then you have all of these which you in turn extract and then use three of them with an electronic circuit the electronic circuit is really the only expensive part uh, of this entire recipe but we shouldn't really have to worry about that at all because we're getting such an amazing amount of resources from these extractors and electric furnaces working together uh, that really this is not anything we should have to worry about too much now, see so we do okay. We do have a little bit more refined iron, but I always seem to be out of this stuff. Oh, there we go. We got copper cables right here. Let's just quickly make a few more. I'm gonna see how many of these good old electronic circuits uh, we can make, just for the time being. Here we go. I mean, we can only make five with the refined iron in here right now, but I do believe we have more refined iron somewhere else and even if we don't nothing to worry about because we have so much iron at the moment that <laughs> it's really not going to be an issue at all also you see these copper right now I'm pretty sure this is the only way you can get copper with that sprite right because right here this is the copper we get when we macerate and then we put in furnaces or just straight up put in furnaces which I'm pretty sure this is the industrial craft model I'm not, I think this, is that the Realcroft model for the ingots? I'm not entirely sure. The only way I can figure out how to make these is you take one of these coppers, you throw it in here, you get your copper nuggets, and then you turn it back. So that's accidentally what I did once. Uh, I didn't mean to do it, but next thing you know, I had 18 of these bad boys. So don't worry, guys, I did not cheat these in. I just accidentally went ahead and turned some 
uh, ingots into nuggets and then back and you never get what you had originally, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. I don't really care too much. They still work the same, as I'll show you here right now. One, two, three. See, this st it still gets us what we need, so don't have to worry about those any longer. And there we go. We'll spread these out a little bit more. Boom, boom, boom. All right, okay. We're coming down to our last little bits. Uh, but rubber, it's such a renewable energy or er, renewable resource that we don't have to worry too much because we have all these trees. And I farmed these about 20 minutes ago, and a lot of them already have sticky resin available for us again. So that's absolutely incredible. All right, so there we go. We've got our copper cables. Let's go ahead and make some more electronic circuits. Shoot, uh, we need to go smelt some iron, but let's make a few more overclocker upgrades uh, while we wait for that, because for the time being, we can make a few more. So let's throw all these in here, and the only thing about these which is annoying is that the coolant cells, <laughs> they don't stack, which is kind of a pain in the rear end, you know, uh, but just a little bit of dragging, it's just like the olden days, guys, because you can't shift into uh, the project tables or chests or anything like that so that's actually all we can make right now but four guys is absolutely incredible and let's show you what we can make by the way we're gonna need to spalt up this pork chop because I'm out of food and starving also our grass is continuously growing guys we're getting so close and I really cannot wait for this to get all over here uh, by the way we were over getting sand for more glass for the solar panels so we're doing a little bit of everything right now trying to figure out what's the quickest way to go about things and these overclock upgrades are certainly helping tremendously so there's our extract let's take that out real quick uh... let's plop those in there and we got that and then we go one two three four oh my goodness it is running out but we do have three machines going right now uh... and that's nothing to worry about because i believe we only have nine solar panels right so we're still way off from the amount we're going to have. Plus, solar panels are the lowest of these. So we have the solar panels here, but then eventually we're going to have high voltage solar arrays, which, as you can see, we're going to be making a ton of solar panels to get to this point. But one of these guys, oh, that's an absolutely crazy, crazy amount of resource that we're going to be getting at one point. Just EU like mad I mean we're just gonna come on in and boom all of our <laughs> different sources are just gonna be filled up instantly and we're gonna have to have all these you know transformers and stuff to get through it all but honestly that's not a big deal man that's already done that is so cool it runs so well alright let's eat this because we're starving and that's not gonna get us up to saturation point but hey that's all okay. That's a-okay, and I don't mind too much because we are getting what we need. And because we're using solar panels, we don't have to burn any more coal, and we can just wait for it to be daytime every day. And our bat box will be filled all the way up yet again. But guys, but guys, that's, no, maybe we shouldn't use that. <laughs> but I think we're going to have to wrap up the episode right about here, guys. We're going to have tons of glass for more solar panels in the next episode. Also... Hoping that we're going to be able to get some more signs from Meme 6 in the future because I don't know what that entails outside of the fact that apparently we're going to get Equivalent Exchange 2 back in the near future. Also, we're going to have all these machines up and running, but I think it's absolutely wonderful to know how far we've come in just over the last couple episodes. I mean, in all reality, guys, we are to the point where like, we're just getting an insane amount of stuff. I mean, just these five machines, three electric furnaces, a macerator, and an extractor, give us just about all we could ever want for the time being, which is really nice to know that I can just get around to doing some building once we get all of our resources up and running. But like I said, guys, we're going to have to wrap up the episode right about here, right about now. Hate to do it to you guys, but this is, you know, back-to-back -back tech episodes. Absolutely wonderful. And we're going to keep that up because we're aiming... Who... Probably episode 25 by the end of f uh, by the end of February, maybe that might be pushing it. Uh, it would be probably the quickest we've uploaded Tech It ever since we started. But I'm gonna do my best to try to get as many episodes out to you guys because I know you guys are enjoying this series so much, and I thank you ever so much for that. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Duke. If you liked today's video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, turn like to next. If you're new to the channel or the series, be sure to subscribe. This has been Duke. Hope you guys have a great and amazing day. I will see you next time. Bye bye.